France, July 26, 1794. Anarchy, misery, murder, arson, fear. These are the weapons of dictatorship. One voice is heard. The screech of the guillotine. France lies bleeding. Paris, an open wound. The grab for power is on. Maximilian Robespierre. A fanatic with powdered wig and twisted mime. Saint-Just. Connoisseur of roses and blood. Boucher the politician. Always on both sides, never in the middle. Danton the soldier. Saviour of France. Francois Barat, citizen of the Republic. An honest man fighting for the life of his country. Calienne. Another honest man. In 48 hours, France will have a dictator. In 48 hours. Unless... Soil. The reign of terror swept to the borders of France. All the liberties we fought for in the revolution are being destroyed. Who's in power now? Maximilian Robespierre. He's demanding dictatorship. He's a madman. France must never have a dictator. You're the only man who could stop him, General. I'm in exile, Charles. A political prisoner. I don't dare escape from Austria. My face is too well known. You'll have to take my place. Your order, sir. I no longer give orders. I'm no longer the Marquis de Lafayette. I'm a general without an army, a Frenchman without a country. All I can do is give you my blessing. There's a man in Strasbourg who will help you. Show him this ring. de Lafayette. You have come just in time. The plans are all set. Death. I demand death for the enemies of France. I denounce Danton. I demand death for Danton. I demand the right to be heard. Assassin. You stand accused, guilty, condemned. Who accuses me? I. Robespierre. Dictator! Silence! Your trial is over. It hasn't begun! Citizens! What is your will? Death! 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 Citizens! Open your eyes! Tomorrow it may be you standing here, accused, condemned, unheard! You come to plead for your husband's life, you're late. Maximilian, what has come over you? Danton is your friend, your very good friend. Together you saved France. Without Danton, where would you be today? I can't let personal feelings interfere. The people have found him guilty. The people? But you are the people. They do what you say. Take out an appeal. Who can I appeal to? Only you. Look at me. Answer me. Stop playing God. God? The revolution abolished God. It's only the will of the people. And the people have spoken. <laughs> That's my chair you're sitting in, Boucher. I just wanted to see how it fits. Danton liked to sit in that chair, too. And to think that he had supper with us only last night. Ah, oh, it's amazing how fast you lose friends these days. And you never know who's next on the list, Fouché. It must be quite a thrill making out your death list every night. 
Well, you sent for me. Here I am. What's on your mind? I can't decide whether to promote you or denounce you. Where in all Paris would you find anybody as disloyal, unscrupulous, scheming, treacherous, cunning, or deceitful as I? Oh, ho, ho. you'd have to do some tall looking, Max. Don't call me Max. You're not dictator, yet. I will be. But not without my help. I know too much about you. Get out of my chair. Is that the way to talk to your chief of secret police? I'm ashamed of you, Max. Citizen Barat. I arrived just in time to see Danton on his way out. Exactly as you planned, wasn't it? Danton was my friend, not yours. Why should you feel badly about it? Because Danton was a good soldier. Without him, France would have been overrun by the armies of Europe. That was yesterday. Like all good soldiers, he outlived his usefulness. Read that. What is it? It's a motion I want you to place before the convention. Why, this would make you dictator of France. Yes. We didn't storm the Bastille to make any man dictator. I'm not any man. I and my party will support no man until there is an end to this mob violence, secret police, and wholesale murder. What you call mob violence is the Committee of Public Safety, which enjoys the confidence of the people. Anyone who challenges the committee is an enemy of the people. Where do you belong, Citizen Barra? Not in this room. I don't think you handled that too well, Max. Barra is not a man to be intimidated by words. He's the only man who can recommend you for dictator before the convention. You can chop his head off. No, but Barra has many devoted friends. And their heads begin to fall, I think he'll come around to my way of thinking. There's no one in Paris who dare touch any of his party. Not even I. No, but there's a man in Strasbourg who isn't afraid of anything. A man named Duval. Duval? You know him? No, but I know his record. 500 executions in a single month. That's almost as good as yours, Max. I've sent for Duval. He arrives at the Blue Goose Inn tonight. You go there and bring him to the bakery. I'll meet him there. How will I know him? There's one snake to another. You'll smell each other out. Citizen, welcome. I'm Duval, public prosecutor of Strasbourg. Will you have dinner? Just show me to my room. I'm expecting an escort from Paris. See that I'm not disturbed till he comes. You can rest assured, Citizen Duval. Good night, Citizen. Sorry, but there is no room to be had. I've come to see Citizen Duval. He left orders not to be disturbed. He'll see me. Which is his room? Please do not make a disturbance. Come back tomorrow. Which door? Oh, must I waken all of your guests? Right, the first door to the left. Who's there? 
A messenger from Paris. Don't move. What's the message? It's so dark in here. I can hear in the dark. Speak. It's a written message. I need light. There's a candle on the bureau. Light it for me. Just hand me the message and you can go. I was told to wait for an answer. Please light the candle. Why are you so anxious for a light in the room? Don't you recognize the voice of Duval? I've never met you before. Citizen Duval. But if you don't know me, what good will a light do? Or are you afraid I might not be Duval? Who else could you be? That depends on who sent the message. Only two men in Paris can send messages beyond the border. Robespierre and Barat. Which one sent you? It's a dangerous question to answer in the dark. One of us has to make the first move. Courtesy demands you speak first. Barat. What happened to the real Duval? He's dead. What did you do with the body? My men were waiting below. Quick, watch the message. Robespierre's man will come to pick me up at any minute. Marat wants you to report to Robespierre. Gain his confidence. Even if he must betray some of us to keep his confidence. Few lives won't matter. But Robespierre must never become dictator. How can I prevent that? You get further orders from Paris. From whom? From me. Well, if we're to recognize each other, I suppose we might as well have a look. Charles! You're looking very well, Madeline. I had no idea such prosperity went with the revolution. You don't seem to have suffered much either. What did you expect me to do when you walked out? Stop breathing? I couldn't explain to you then. You can explain now. We'll have a bottle of wine over old times. Perhaps I can get the innkeeper to come up and play the violin. Explanations always sound better with music. I don't blame you for hating me. I don't like to deprive you of that satisfaction, Madeline. I don't hate you. I just don't care anymore. I'll be at the cafe of the living dead. After you've seen Robespierre, please come there, Charles. Please. It seems I remember an appointment we had four years ago. Only one of us showed up. The stupid one. Oh, Charles has grown up to be a smart boy now. I'll be waiting. I wouldn't count the minutes. That. She came to see Citizen Duval. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Citizen Duval, your escort has a... What's the matter with you? You look so different, Citizen Duval. Different. Why should the appearance of a public prosecutor interest you so much, citizen? You haven't, by chance, a guilty conscience. No, no, citizen prosecutor. I'm a patriot. It was a week. Yes, of course, the week. So. You're the terror of Strasbourg. <laughs> I'd recognize you anywhere, citizen Fouché. You had a visitor, I see. All work and no play? I thought you enjoyed your work. The uh, real pleasure of my work went out with the guillotine. It's all over too fast now. Even hanging. That lasts but a few moments. 
No, Citizen Fouché. What this country needs is an elegant, slow death. Give a man four hours to die. It's worth watching. Let's try it sometime, shall we? Any one in particular? Robespierre has a beautiful long list. We're going to have some great times together. Eh, Duval? Yes. I can hardly wait. <laughs> <laughs> Duval, you don't know me, and I don't know you. That's a good start. We uh, might be able to do each other some good. What do you think? You haven't said anything yet. Suppose you tell me why Robespierre sent for you. I was just going to ask you that. Oh, oh, oh. come, Duval. You can trust me. Can I? No. <laughs> One thing about Paris, never dull. Oh. What's this? Robespierre's headquarters. A bakery. He loves hot biscuits in the morning. <laughs> Welcome to Paris, Citizen Duval. It's a pleasure. I never shake hands. It's unsanitary. Your barber? Mm. Ask him again where it is. Where is it? <laughs> Aren't you at your bun? Good, hmm? <laughs> Delicious. Remove the body. People of Paris are becoming more stubborn every day. We have the same trouble in Strasbourg. I congratulate you on your record there. <laughs> it was becoming monotonous. We'll do our very best to make it exciting for you here. Fouché, why don't you take a walk? Well, the streets aren't safe this hour of the night. Oh, well. I expected an older man. So did I. Because I'm the eldest of our group. This past May, I was 36. Boucher is 35, and... Danton would have been 34 had he lived. How old are you? I, uh, hope to reach your age anyway. However, age makes men tolerant, and, uh, these are no times for tolerance. We're living in a perpetual state of violence. The people have become a bloodthirsty mob that thrives on human lives. Each day, this monster must drink its quota. There's only one man who can control this beast, and that man must be dictator of France. What's there to stop you? A black book. A black book. My secret file. 
In it are listed the names of all the enemies of France and the proof of their crimes. It's from this book that I select the daily quarter for the guillotine. Yesterday, this book disappeared. Well, uh, why not make up another one? You don't understand. Some of the names are men who work on my own committee. They suspect, yet nobody knows for sure whether his name's on the list. It's this fear which gives me control of the convention. Once they know they're on the list, they'll all join forces. I can hold them one by one, but not as a group. That's why it's imperative that I get this black book back before its contents become known. That's the real reason why I sent for you. Nobody knows about it but you. Whom do you suspect of taking it? I know of only one man who, if he had the book, would have the courage to use it against me. Barra, one of the leaders of the opposition party. I'd uh, like to meet this Barra. Well, that won't be easy. He's gone into hiding until the convention meets. You'll act as special agent for the Committee of Public Safety. Here's your authority for power over all police personnel. Fouché, too? Over everyone. Except me. You have 24 hours. Not much time. Convention meets day after tomorrow. We must have the book back by then. And if I fail? As you said, Duval, these are no times for tolerance. I don't tolerate failures. Where do we start? Start what? Or whatever it is, aren't we going to work together? I think tonight calls for a one-man job. Well, I'm the man. Yes, but she might not like the idea. Can't your diversions wait? <laughs> you see, I may only be in Paris 24 hours. All right, driver. to see me? I asked to see Madeline. I am Madeline. At uh, another time, in another place, I might accept you as Madeline. That will be all, Yvonne. He's nice. I haven't got all night, citizen. Don't just sit. Order something. If it isn't the terror of Strasbourg. I don't think we were introduced. Saint Just is the name. The shadow of Robespierre. Wherever he goes, I go. Except here. He doesn't like women. Come on, join my party. Some other time, Sergeant. You don't like women either? I'm a little tired tonight. No one goes to bed in Paris. It isn't safe to go to bed. I've had so many friends. All killed in bed. Fouché, secret police. 
Thanks for warning me. I have a friend in Strasbourg, Henri Dupont. No doubt you know him. I uh, can't say that I do. Good. He doesn't live in Strasbourg. <laughs> it's very amusing. Do you know something? I don't think you are Duval. No? You don't look like a butcher. You know, at first glance, one could almost mistake you for a human being. Saint-Jacques, we missed you. You see, I am a human being. Choose your friends unwisely. Saint Just is an enemy. Who sent you? Shall we finish him? Not here. Thanks for a most cordial reception. My friends are sometimes too impulsive. Come on up, Charles. Close the door, Charles. Come over here, Charles. Closer. Closer. One kiss and four years are wiped out. Life's not that simple, Madeline. Not even for you. Go on. Pour out your bitterness. I drank it up in buckets of sweet wine. Tell me about the women that went with the wine. They were all called Madeline. They had your eyes, your mouth. And the same false smile. Tell me more. Make me jealous. They even kissed like you, with soft, warm lips. Like fish. Exactly. You are a stranger, Charles. We really don't know each other anymore. I have no intention of renewing the acquaintance. And why did you come here tonight? To find Barat. Unfortunately, you're my only contact. Why should you want to help him? Because I'm a Frenchman. And there's only one man who could save France and put an end to this terror. Barat. I wish I were that confident. I trust this man, Madeline. Even though he doesn't have the usual reaction to your charm. Have you met with Robespierre? I just left him. Were you followed? I'm sure I was, but there was no time to lose. Day after tomorrow, he's going to ask the convention to appoint him dictator. Robespierre must never become dictator. Ever hear of the Black Book? The death list. Well, the book's gone. Who has it? I was hoping it was you. If only I did have it. I could whip the entire convention into a frenzy against him. It's a secret police. They've got the cafe surrounded. You have to go this way. Hurry. Just one more kiss and I'd have melted. <laughs> Listen, 
Bara. You're under arrest. He's my prisoner. Was. Is. I'm afraid you're a little confused, Duval. I'm the chief of police. You were chief of police. My authorization from Robespierre. Now, if you'll be so kind as to leave. Fouché was going to outsmart you. Come in, Barra. You've had a strenuous day, Duval. I'll see that our friend gets to prison safely. Good night. into the hands of Saint Just. That wasn't part of my plan. I saw it with my own eyes. What are you waiting for, Talia? Shoot him. Which side are you on? Well, looks like I'm in the middle. But if you'll give me a chance, I might be able to save Barra. We're wasting time. For heaven's sakes, Madeline, can't you see I'm not lying? Frankly, no. Just because I refused to kiss, you'd have me killed. Since when have you put such a price on your kisses? Shoot him! You know I'm not Duval, so does she. Give me a chance to free Barat. There are only three men in our party who could possibly have the book. You know who they are. If he's lying, we can get rid of him later. It's worth the risk. Lambert. Exciting enough for you, Citizen Duval? You've seen Castell and Bernard, and now Lambert. Somebody got here first. Then you know about the Black Book? <laughs> Nobody keeps secrets from me. Nothing has been disturbed in any of the rooms. Your uh, companion has good eyes. No one of these men ever had the Black Book. Then why were they silenced? Only Robespierre can answer that. Or perhaps you, Citizen Fouché? Who? Me? Well, much as I dislike to tear myself away, looks as though I'll have to. Unless, of course, you still insist on shooting me. I made a mistake, Charles. Your mistake almost cost me my life. Your life isn't worth much unless you save Barat. That doesn't sound like the Madeline who had her arms around me a while ago. But I guess you're pretty free with your arms these days, aren't you? Don't tempt me. I still have a gun. Whatever happened to the Madeline I once knew? You had a chance to find out. That chance won't come again. You're sure of that? Positive. You still want to shoot me? I could kill you. There's a revolution going on. Don't stay out late. What you say, Saint Just, disturbs me. I'm not sure, but it looked as if he were trying to help Barat to escape. A man's record is perfect. Duval's record is perfect. Huh? 
What do you mean? Fouché told me about an incident that happened at the inn. The innkeeper didn't seem to recognize Duval the second time he saw him. Any proof? Duval's a powerful man in Strasbourg. I can't afford to antagonize his element there. You'll have proof. His wife arrives at noon today. Citizen Duval. Send him in. Well, good morning, gentlemen. We had a profitable night. Barras in prison and three of his best men dead. What about the book? That's why I'm here. Your time is getting short. Why did you kill Castel, Bernard, and Lambert last night? What makes you think it was me? It wasn't Fouché. Barras in prison and I didn't do it. That leaves only you, Saint Just. Let credit fall where credit is due. I'll never find the book if he keeps killing off the only people I can question. Dead enemies make good friends. You know, if I'm to be of any service to you, you've got to take me into your confidence. What is it you'd like to know? In all three rooms of the slain men, nothing was disturbed. No attempt was made to search for the black book. I want to know why. Perhaps you'd better answer that, Sanjas. You have the reputation for being a clever man, Duval. Suppose you find the answers. Thank you. I will. We should hold him till we're sure. I always believe in giving a man enough rope. I've come to question the prisoner, Barral. The Committee of Public Safety's authority is good enough for me. Just shout when you finish. Turn you in, Barah. Since this just happened to be in your care. You've got to trust me. I'm here to help you. I don't need your help, citizen prosecutor, terror of Strasbourg. I'm not Duval. I'm Charles de Bigny. Lafayette. I'm his agent. What trick is it this time? Last night, Castel, Bernard, and Lambert were assassinated. By whom? Saint Just. Then it's all over. There's only one way I can save you. We've got to find that black book. I told you it was none of my men. Then why were they killed last night? Part of some fiendish plot of Robespierre. None of the rooms of the murdered men were searched. If they weren't killed for the Black Book, what's behind it all? Fear. Divide and conquer. Plot as old as Caesar. Robespierre's plan is to break up the party. Since the book disappeared, some of my men have already come to distrust each other. Last night's murders will make them even more unsure. By the time the convention meets, there'll be no one to oppose his dictatorship. But if the book's still missing, how will he dare face the convention? Some of his own men are listed in that book. Then why haven't they come forward? Whoever has it wouldn't keep silent. One man would. Who? Robespierre. Robespierre? He never lost the book. It was never out of his possession. But then why? Don't you see what he accomplished with a single eye? He's had us all on a wild goose chase searching for something that was never lost. That's why those rooms weren't disturbed. There was nothing to look for. But if he has it, then he will become dictator. Guard! Guard! Dovini. If you should find it and I'm not there, Give it to Talion. He'll have the courage to use it. You'll be there. Hurry up, God! God! What's your hurry, my friend? The convention doesn't meet till tomorrow. Unlock this door. Is that an order? It's a command. By whose authority? By authority of Robespierre. Just a precaution, Duval. If you are Duval. By the way, I have good news for you. Your wife is on her way from Strasbourg. She should be here at any minute now. Why don't you just relax until she comes? Robespierre and I wouldn't want to miss the happy reunion.
What are your prisoners doing out here? This is the day's batch for the guillotine. Shut them out. Citizeness Duval, send just. <laughs> Greetings. Fetch Citizen Duval. I apologize for inconveniencing you. I was looking for an excuse to get to Paris. There are so many things I want to buy. Silly boy done. Nothing. It's just a slight misunderstanding. My apologies, Duval. Is he in my position? One can't be too careful. I compliment you on your thoroughness. You too, Sanchez. Come, Bobo. We have so much to do. <laughs> yes, my love. Wait for me. I was told I could find Citizen Robespierre here. And uh, who wishes to see Citizen Robespierre? Madame Duval. Inform citizen Robespierre that uh, Madame Duval desires an audience. being kept waiting. Perhaps Citizen Saint-Just can help you. At your service, madam. I'll speak to no one but Citizen Robespierre. make mistakes. No one's perfect. Where is Madame Duval? I am Madame Duval. Got him! Well, that was close. How'd you know about Duval's wife? Uh, one of our men recognized her the border. Cecile took her place. Greetings, Citizen Duval. Greetings, Patriot. Greetings, Patriot. Nice, Patriot. Greetings to you, Patriots. Last I heard, you were in jail. 
That fool Saint Just didn't think I was Duval. But of course you proved otherwise. Of course. Saint Just is a fool. Uh, 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 please, Charles. No violence. You once spoke about working together, Fouché. Well, the offer I made was to Duval, but I make you the same offer. After all, we're both out for the same thing. But I know where it is. Where? What are you after? Once Robespierre is eliminated, I want joint power with Barat. Only Barat can give you that. But Barat's in no position to bargain now. Well, what's your answer? Me or Robespierre? You're the lesser of two evils, Fouché. You have my word. We break it in this room. What for? The black book. In Robespierre's own room? It was never out of that room. What? Oh. <laughs> what a clever rascal. I'm afraid I underestimated Max. Hurry up, Fouché. You forget this is not my regular profession.
Some cabbage, a citizen? Freshly cut last night. Artichokes? Pierre, this customer is asking for artichokes. Artichokes are out of season. I was told I could find some here. They're very expensive. How many did you want? Three large, three small. I thought you'd never get here. I almost didn't. Did you find it? Those gendarmes are going through the marketplace. They must be looking for you. You won't be safe anywhere in Paris. What about your sister's farm? Good. You can hide out there until the convention meets tomorrow. Keep this. It will be safer with you. I'll go with Charles. You never get out of the city in those clothes. I'll get you some others. We'll meet tomorrow at daybreak at the Cafe of the Living Dead. Good luck. I told you I lost them. But ask anyone in the market, they'll tell you who we are. I'm not interested in who you are, but who you gave your papers to. Is it against the law to lose one's papers? No, but it's treason to give them to a traitor. Well, if a traitor found our papers, we can't help that. Where's your horse and cart? In the stables, where we always leave them. Your stall is empty. Oh, well, they've been stolen. Make them talk! They won't talk now. We'll catch them at the farm. Come on. Show your papers. I'm the Vicomte Charles de Bigny, and this is Marie Antoinette. <laughs> See here where you passed through only this morning with a full load of cabbage. Sure sold them awfully fast. There are a lot of hungry people in Paris. Where's your farm? About four kilometers from here. Then you must pass through here often. Don't recall seeing your faces before. Cabbages don't grow overnight, my friend. What else do you raise? Chickens, pigs. Pierre. I'll, uh let you through on one condition. What's that? Next time you come through, you bring us a couple of chickens. Well, I don't know. You'll have to ask my wife about that. One chicken. Two chickens. Small ones. Not too small.
We're friends of Pierre. What's happened? Oh, nothing. Pierre will be here tomorrow. We'd like to stay for the night. Had your supper? Not yet. I just want a bed. Who are you? I'm the terror of Straussburg. <laughs> Come on now, finish your milk. And off to bed. Are they Pierre's? Yes. It's a pity they have to grow up in times like these. we will be thankful they don't live in Paris. Sometimes I wish that Louis were still king. Don't say that. We're never going back. We're trying to build a better world. It's not easy. But we're never going back. Does anyone know where we're heading? Did you ever live on a farm? I was born on one. What is it? No. Wake your man. Run to the fields. I'll hide the cart. Oh. Charles! Charles, wake up! The soldiers are coming. Charles! Back away. <laughs> Anybody home? Just Grandma. Where is she? Bringing in Celeste. Who's Celeste? My 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 cow. Where's your mother and father? They, they went to the market. Have you seen any strangers? Have you? What do you want here? We're looking for a man and woman, traitors to the Republic. You won't find them in that bed. This is the farm of Pierre and Marie Blanchard, isn't it? Pierre is my son. Your son and his wife have been arrested for treason. If we don't find the traitors, they'll both be executed tomorrow. If you know anything, Grandma, you'd better speak up now. I know nothing. You'll never get anything out of these farmers. All right, search the fields. some food and wine. of the Republic. But see what? He's thirsty, too. Come here, little one. Would you like to be a soldier when you grow up? You could have a horse, sword, and a gun. You'd like that, wouldn't you? 
But a good soldier never lies. He always tells the truth. Have you seen any strangers today, a man and a woman? You can tell me, one soldier to another. Why, get a horse? You can have mine. Soldier of the Republic. Swine. What's that you said? More wine. Well. Not a trace of them. Anywhere. Can't get very far with a horse and cart. Maybe they've gone to the next town. They've got to be in Paris by tomorrow morning. This is as far as they'd go. Keep searching. I left the men those orders. Oh, I'm dead on my feet. I'm going to take a nap. Wake me up in half an hour. You're not going to disturb the children? I'll take the cot. Get me a pillow.
I'll put a stop to it. Take us riding double. We better hide in here. These woods are full of caverns. They can't search every one of them. your men outside the woods. We'll wait here for them to come out. They're laying a trap for us in the woods. There must be another way to Paris. Only the main road. If only the moon weren't so bright, we could make a run for it. We better wait. Maybe the clouds will cover the moon. Charles de Vigny taken the book. <laughs> to whom? <laughs> I'm asking you for the last time. <laughs> Make her talk.
to your old tricks, eh? I know a much better way to get the black book. What is your way? It has to be quick. The convention meets in less than an hour. Let her down. This earring will have more persuasion than any of your torches. I'll meet you at the convention. You've done well, Charles. This day we'll see the end of the terror. I'll go back for Madeline now. Take some men with him. These gentlemen. Not so rough. Congratulations. You came very close, Charles. Not quite close enough, it seems. Oh, I uh, have something for you. Where is she? Where is she? Being entertained by Robespierre. It's either Madeline or the book. You can't have both. The convention meets in less than ten minutes. Without this, Robespierre will become dictator. But on, many more will die. France will die. Prisoner Francois This is not a trial. Barra is not a prisoner at the bar. You are not judges. You are statesmen and representatives of the nation. In your hands lies the fate of France. You have not to pass sentence for or against a single man. This man is already a self-confessed traitor by opposing the will of the convention. It is you, the members of the convention, who must take a resolution on a question of public safety and to decide a question of national foresight. It is with regret that I pronounce the fatal truth. Bara ought to perish rather than this convention be torn with disunity. Bara must die that the country may live. There's a cord about the throat of liberty, and both ends are held by traitors like Parra and his party. I demand a decree of accusation against them. I demand a declaration of national emergency. I demand a suspension of all legal procedures. I demand that this convention by unanimous vote vest in me the authority of sole and absolute dictatorship. No. Never! No! Down with dictators! I denounce Robespierre! Give us back our liberty! Never! No dictator! Citizens! I denounce Rupert! I denounce Rupert! I denounce 
My life you want, take it. One more life isn't important. What is important is the will of the people. I've fought to give the people the right to exercise their own will. I've fought to give France back to the people. Blood has poured freely. And if more blood is needed, you can have mine. The greatest death that a man can die is for his own people. But you will be a mob without a leader. If I go, who takes my place? Let the man step forward who can follow on the steps of Robespierre. I have led you through the darkness. If I sought the power of dictatorship, it was not for personal glory. Your will is my will. I bear Shut no man business. I have killed only for you. <laughs> Never speak again. To the guillotine! To the guillotine!
Shakespeare's last monument. He planned on having statues built of himself. All he leaves behind him is stale bread. The end is always being put to some use in France, citizen. The art of being a Frenchman, knowing what comes next. Have you any idea? I am neither a Frenchman nor a politician. I am merely a soldier. Well, my friends, must be off. Perhaps we shall meet again sometime. Oh, uh, by the way, I don't believe I got your name. My name is Bonaparte, Napoleon Bonaparte. Napoleon Bonaparte. I'll try to remember. Yeah.